only what a day, but what a week it has been here in Sarasota, Florida for the 2016 Olympic and Paralympic trials. Lightweight women's double skulls, the final event from California Rowing Club, Victoria Burke and Nancy Miles. In lane two, representing Riverside, Erin Roberts and Hilary Sager. Alongside those ladies in lane three for Vespa, it's Kate Burko and Devery Cars. And in lane four, representing Sarasota, Rosa Kemp and Monica Whitehouse. Same rules apply as the men's lightweight doubles. Winner goes to Rio. These women, this boat class has been posting really fast times throughout this whole regatta. Posting the, the highest percentages off of gold medal time standard, which is the goal that each boat class gets uh, where they base off their training numbers. And what percentages are those, Mary? Are they in the 97, 98? <laughs> well, since there was a headwind, this is an outdoor sport, they were in their mid-90s, uh, mid which is pretty good for the conditions that we see today. In lane four, closest to us, that's a solid start from Rosa Kemp and Monica Whitehouse of the Sarasota crew. Hometown favorites, the, these two women, they are the high school rowing coaches for the Sarasota crew. They've got a lot of hometown crowd cheering them on, and they are hanging in right with the whole field, putting their bow just overlap with our leaders, who is the Vestberg Boat Club, Kate Burko and Devry Cars. Both national team members, and Burtko took bronze in the lightweight skulls, Cars took 11th in the lightweight double skulls and now they clearly put their boat ahead early in this first 500. What every rower knows it, it takes a squad to produce a team and the squad that produced this Vesper Boat Club, Devry Carts partnered with Michelle Sesher last year and they qualified this event. Kate Burka was in the women's single and she picked up some hardware at World Championships. Those three women trained together they were assessing each other's speed. They all wanted to see what would be the fastest combination. And Devry Cart and Michelle, they were par they were doubles partners for many years. And with this new combination, Devry now has to be open and willing to back up Kate. And they are doing it well, matching that leg speed down to the deck, matching that impulse during this first 500. And they've been putting a lot of distance between them and second place. First 500 split is up and it's comfortable for the combination of Burt Coat cars. The red boat, the local, the Sarasota crew of Kemp and Whitehouse are hanging in there and it's tight between California Rowing Club and Riverside on the far side in lanes one and two. However, Riverside is now just starting to edge ahead as all three combinations chase Kate Burko and Devery Cars. This category has been special, Mary, as you know, for Team USA. Twice has medaled at the Olympic Summer Games in 2000, bronze, and before that in 96 was silver. And as part of that, earlier this week, there were 26 individuals, important individuals within the rowing fraternity, inducted into the 2016 National Rowing Hall of Fame. Teresa Bell, Lindsay Burns, who won silver in 96, Christine Collins and Sarah Garner-Wolf, who won bronze in 2000, were four of those very important 26 people. It was a wonderful night. Yes, but now we can see now that this is a race for second. All these three boats trailing Devery and Kate. They could use each other to cut, sort of reel them in. We got plenty of water ahead. We are moving into the middle thousand, and this is where fitness plays in to play. Average, the boat average of these women, they have to come in and they weigh in two hours before they race. They have to weigh in about an average of 125. The max an, an athlete could weigh in this women's category could be 130. But it's a, it's a combination of who's their strengths, who's weaknesses, who's naturally at that weight, who can maybe shave off a couple pounds here and there. But these are fine-tuned machines. As they cross into that third 500, again, it's still a race of hydration, recovery, seeing if they can fuel themselves properly so they can max out this whole 2,000 meters. There's the split at the halfway mark, the 1,000 meter mark. Of course, 2,000 meters is the Olympic distance and that lead advantage is becoming more and more comfortable for Kate Burko and Devery Cars representing the Vespa Boat Club.
And in the third 500, when you're up by about a length or two lengths of open water and you can see your competitors behind you, you start to smile a little bit, you start to relax. You do not ease off, but that relaxation of just owning every stroke actually helps boat speed. And I want to see if they can just stretch their lead a little bit more now that they, I don't want to say they're comfortably in the lead, but it's psychologically advantage to have that wa open water and all they have to do is say stay in the rhythm make sure every stroke is quality and in a doubles combination it's just about matching your prayer partner and making sure that you guys are staying in sync and nobody gets antsy think about that psychological advantage well burke on cars took care of burke and miles in the heat comfortably so and victoria burke is a medalist at the Pan American Games. Nancy Miles won silver in the lightweight in the quadruple skulls at the 2013 World Rowing Championships. So that's a good combination, but this lead doubles combo is something else in this Olympic qualifying run. Winner goes to Rio, and we can't stress that enough. You can see why they've been posting such high percentages off of their gold medal time standard goal, because they, once they get up to speed, they don't slow down. And what I really love about their combination is that their leg speed and just their acceleration based off of their legs. It's a leg sport. A lot of people think, oh, you row, you must have big arms and body, but it's all, it's a pushing sport. You want to put the blade in behind you, you want to push the seat back, and you just want to lever your whole body weight on the face of the blade, so that way you can just shove that boat down that 2,000 meter course. Counterintuitive, right? Pushing, not pulling. <laughs> exactly. There's no pulling and rowing. Just push, lean, holding on, and you just lever like your life depends on it. Look at that beautiful shot. This is a man-made lake. This used to be a quarry. Everything that was dug out of the ground, the gravel that came out of here was used to make Interstate 75, which neighbors this amazing 600-acre park. And you've seen shots in the background of people running and riding and walking. It is just a beautiful nature reserve. Open to the public but it is world class these are the olympic and paralympic rowing trials next year it'll be the 2017 world rowing championships here and what an honor that is for sarasota florida to the benderson family and the sarasota county have done such an amazing job to create this it'll be a future olympic training site as well absolutely but devry a lot of people want to know how do they know where they are they're going backwards they can't see where they're going but you can see devry looks over her right shoulder trying to look at the bow numbers or the the meter marks on the shore and she gives verbal cues to kate saying we've got 250 to go sit up taller i mean she doesn't have too much dialogue going but they're trained to go off certain cues of words and just backing each other up it was a comfortable win in the heat, as we mentioned earlier in this race. This is going to be a comfortable Olympic qualification for Kate Burko and Devery Cars. Sounds of victory. They've done it. And for Kate Burko, this has been a long time coming. She turned down a possible qualification position in 2012 to go for a quad, but was selected outside of that big boat. Then she became a lightweight rower of, of, compared to an openweight rower. She shed those pounds, owned that lightweight category, worked together with Devery and Michelle to make this fast winning combination, and she is punching her ticket to Rio. What did you like about what you saw from the Vespa Boat Club? Double. Yes, I love how they just hang their straight arms off. They're not pulling with their arms, and they're just pushing that seat really long and explosive. Very long strokes from that lightweight combination. Kate Burko, Devery Cars, going to Rio. Meanwhile, the Sarasota crew, the locals, came home third. This broadcast is presented by authority of the United States Olympic Committee and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of the United States Olympic Committee.